Hey guys, Crazy Postman here. Well, I wanted to come to you today and give you a cautionary tale on how important the RTK setup is. Now, a couple of days ago, we had a near disaster in the front yard. The Luba decided to go out of bounds while it was mowing. I was about to get out the pitchforks and make a super hit piece video. Oh my gosh, these Lubas are going crazy. But turns out it's completely my fault and not Luba's fault at all. So let me show you what happened and how you can prevent this from happening to you. So by now, everybody's well aware of my Luba setup. Well, let me tell you just how important the RTK is. We had a very good windstorm the other night, and it just so happens that this windstorm came through while Luba was out mowing. If you look up here, that is just ever so slightly twisted to the right direction. Just a hair more than it was when I did the mapping. And that was enough to throw everything off while Luba was out mowing. So I did get a warning. Evidently, while Luba was out mowing, it didn't really notice the twisting happen and it just thought everything was good and it just kept mowing but it was ever so slightly off that caused luba to be two or three feet off in this very corner of this yard over here and it almost went into the pond luckily it got hung up on one of these bags of pea gravel and it got stuck there it triggered the bump sensor and that's where it sat until it got help the next day. Its boundary is here at the edge of the grass, but it was all the way facing nose towards that direction. And it was just about to go over. If this hadn't have been sitting here, that rock has enough of a angle on it that Luba could have just drove right over that with its, uh, powerful four-wheel drive it wouldn't even have cared about that rock it would have just drove right over so thankfully this was just sitting just in the right spot to save Luba's life I'm going to go twist that ever so slightly back into the direction it's supposed to be it's only a few degrees off but when you're mowing an area as big as this by the time you zoom out a few degrees off in the very corner over here could be a few feet you know that's a big deal so the rtk is very sensitive and it must stay firmly planted in the same location now if you remember my setup i kind of rigged it up there so i'm going to just go up there and just try to retighten everything down maybe use a little bit more duct tape because you know that's how we do it here in the south so i went up there and adjusted it just a little bit it's still blinking right now it hasn't quite locked on okay so here we are it says luba's locked and that's because the stop button was pressed i told my dad to press the stop button so it wouldn't automatically do anything with the RTK out of alignment so I'm going to lean down and I'm going to tell it congratulations Luba positioning success it still thinks it's facing the wrong direction here look at it in its little charging cradle here the red is pointing the wrong way let's uh, do an auto test here there it goes. Now it knows it's facing the right way. Now it's backing into its spot. And it has touched the charging cradle. Alright, so I got no warnings for the position being out of alignment. So we're going to call this a success. I just want to show you all the errors because of that RTK, poor positioning, poor positioning, poor positioning during auto 
direction. Poor positioning, poor positioning. RTK reference convergence failed. Poor positioning, charging station position change. So that's at 2.35 in the morning. That's when it first knew something was wrong, I'm sure. But there you have it. That was all the warnings from the other day. All right, so you just saw on that screen recording, everything seems to be okay now. Not sure if it's gonna stay okay. Uh, like I said, that's up, up there on the house. It's pretty solid now. I don't think it's gonna move easily again, but that was just kind of a weird anomaly because normally if something happens to the RTK, it's probably gonna happen while Luba's not mowing. So it was just extra weird that that got tilted right when Luba was mowing and happened to be right in the most dangerous part of my yard, right there by the pond. So that was strange circumstances, not really Luba's fault. That RTK has to stay locked down solid. It was interesting in the history report, it did say, let me throw up a screen grab here, that it had an abnormal end. So it knew something weird happened when it was doing the final edge cut before it came back to the base. So it said abnormal end. And that's, I guess that's what I would describe it as. That's pretty abnormal if you try to drive into a, a pond because you lost your RTK. <laughs> but it didn't know it lost it, give it that. It didn't know until it got back to the house and it had to manually be brought back home because it sat out there in the yard until it died completely. So they brought it home manually and plugged it in and the thing was beeping like crazy. It was not happy, it knew something was wrong, and I was able to log in on the app and it said that the RTK has been moved. And I'm like, what, I didn't move it? So everything is fine now. Thanks for watching this short little update video and I will see y'all in the next one. Now I'm gonna go ahead and tell it to start mowing because it never actually mowed the other half of the front yard, so. We're going to tell it to mow this half of the front yard, 1.8 inches, 1.6 inches. It mowed the uh, north half of the front yard. You can probably see over there, nice and low. But over here, it did not mow. Dad likes this just cut short. We're not worried about a prize lawn here. It's mostly weeds anyway. Not sure where it's going to start, but it's going to go over there somewhere and it will start and then start going back and forth. So it's about two hours later. I've just finished up editing this video and I thought to add this in here at the end. So it's been going for about two hours. It's down to 25% battery. It may have been going for more than two hours. As I'm recording this, it's 7.07 .07 p.m. And I think I started it in the 4 30 5 o'clock i'm not exactly sure when i started it so it may be more than two hours but it's about halfway done with uh, what it's doing and it's obviously gonna have to go in and charge before it finishes because it says it's mode 40 percent and i'm down to 25 percent battery but you can see here the rtk is working perfectly we got the number of satellites we need and the position to the station that we need everything is working great i'm going to go ahead and end out this episode now thanks for watching and i will see y'all in the next update sneak peek i think i'm going to try out the rain sensor in the next update i had an interesting uh, chat with someone on reddit today about their rain sensor not working that well so I'm going to test the rain sensor here probably this coming weekend. We're going to see how much water needs to get on it before it goes home and then how long it stays at home. So thanks for watching. I will see y'all in the next one.